Hey, how's it going? Oh, Good to see you. you. you Thanks too. for accompanying me on our rides in Newtown. This actually gives us a perfect opportunity to have a little chat about True. your new album. I actually just want to put one of the songs from the record on. The Boys, which is the first single, which mm. is out now, so everyone's heard it. How did that one come about? Um, so, I... The Boys was inspired by... Uh, yeah, a day that I had with um, my boyfriend and a whole bunch of his mates. I ended up being the only girl there, which was strange. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm not usually in that situation with at least, you know, one other girl or something. We got burgers and beer and went back to someone's house and just played, like, football. Such a boys us. day. <laughs> totally, it was such a boys day. And so, for me, I was just kind of fascinated a little bit. Yeah. Just watching, like, what they all did and, you know, and how they hung out. Yeah, it was, I don't know, they were, they were really nice to each other. Yeah, <laughs> surprising. <laughs> I, know sounds, I know, like, I, I don't know. I feel like some people would be like, oh, of course they're nice to each other, they're friends. But they were just, like, very light and buoyant. And, yeah, I guess I didn't expect that. Yeah. Reason, so. Is it different to the relationship you have with your girlfriend? Yeah, totally. Yeah, I mean, I think, I don't know, girls just seem to get pretty deep really quickly. Yeah. You know, um... Whereas I found at least, you know, maybe because I was there, they weren't like that. But yeah. I don't know. They they were just very relaxed and, and it was everything was just a joke and lighthearted. Yeah. And there wasn't really any kind of, you know, they weren't trying to fix anything yeah. in their lives. They were just hanging out. You know what I mean? That's interesting you make that point because I mm. feel like there's a big part of your album that's very nostalgic in terms mm. of going back to where you grew up. Yeah. And there's something about that attitude of everything being really joking that mm. is quite a childhood thing yeah true was that a connection that you made on the record yeah I mean like there are a few other songs that are inspired by um, I guess my childhood you know growing yeah. up in um, rural Australia in Albury um, near Melbourne um, there's another song called, on the record called Warriors yeah. which is the name of the album as well um, yeah which is uh, kind of inspired by just like with country kids you kind of have to be quite independent yeah you know like I don't know there's just a sense of you know you're far away and, yeah totally. you know which is exciting and but very much makes you kind of have your own little club even just you know listening to the radio was kind of our way of getting new music and kind of yeah. seeing what the pulse was at the time and there's quite a, a few uh songs on the album that are inspired by my childhood and um yeah i mean it's an interesting thing i think for in everyone's life their childhood you know it kind of shapes you and, yeah um it's just, i definitely you know saw what the songs were kind of looking back trying to work out which is quite <laughs> It's quite a different point to be at for your mm. third album because a lot of artists mm. by the third album, once they've moved to the big city and had mm. the experience of touring and going overseas yeah. like yourself, mm. that memory of childhood becomes quite distant to them. Mm. But in your case, you've come back to it. Yeah. What did, was there anything that flicked that or any like moment that kind of made you get a bit nostalgic, I suppose? Um, I don't know. I think... I don't really know to be honest but yeah. I guess like my guess is something about you know when you feel like you're kind of growing up you know when you start letting go of your childhood yeah. I feel like maybe there's something in me that wants to examine it more yeah you know what totally. I mean before I kind of really let go of it yeah. but I think we're always our childhood as well totally. you know like we're always our yeah. child like our 15 year old self or our 10 year old self I don't know it's just funny isn't it how different times in your life you remember different ages yeah. vividly. I don't know if you get that, but I, that happens to me. I'll go through a period yeah. where I'll just always remember, you know, things that I did or, or, or bands that I loved when I was 12. Yeah. Or, or, you know, memories or smells or, you know, when I was 10. Like, there will just be these different moments. Yeah. I don't know. I, my guess is that it's just like your brain kind of going back and... I don't know, trying to like learn things, that, yeah. you know, in its new state. Totally. You know, like if you're an eight-year-old, you can't really understand something the way an adult would. Yeah. So it's almost like, I don't know. That's you go guess. back and try exactly. and work out what was going on there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think one of the most nostalgic things for me is sitting in a car 
and hearing old songs come on the radio and taking you back to that time. And a lot of time of my childhood was spent discovering music in the car with my parents and then when you grow up and get your peas, it's with your friends. Are there any songs that you really remember kind of making you want to become a musician? Not necessarily that you heard in the car for the first time. Well, this is kind of weird, but like the first time I had my pea plates on, I was driving away from, because we lived 10 minutes out of town, I was like in the car with my pea plate on, um, yeah, driving, I don't know, just into town for the first time by myself and yeah. Miss Higgins' song, Drive. <laughs> Amazing. I was just like, what? <laughs> this is really weird. Yeah. Like, strange, really strange. And so I would have been like, you know, 17, I guess you are, like, really like, peace. Yeah. Something like that. But yeah, I always remember that thinking of all the songs to have to come on the radio. Yeah. I mean, going back to that period of your life, you've had quite an interesting journey in that you've gone from, and I'm sorry to use the word journey, but you've gone from living in a, in a country town yeah. to suddenly being thrust in the spotlight. But then you kind of had to take the reins for yourself and forge your own path. Was that scary, those kind of days of knowing that you needed to go out there and you needed to present your own sound and be your own person? Yeah, um... Yeah, I mean, I was 16 when I was first kind of doing music stuff when I was an idol, so, yeah. you know, yeah, I mean, I'm 26 now, so I definitely, uh, yeah, so much has changed, you know, in, just in terms of my music and, yeah. and, you know, how I make music and why I make music yeah. and, you know, yeah, my relationship with art and things that I do for myself and things that I share with other people. Yeah. It's all just, yeah, I mean, and, and because I started, I suppose, at kind of a younger age in like a public way with art, it's yeah. kind of, yeah, it's been a pretty interesting life. Yeah, <laughs> like, totally. Yeah, like definitely really challenging to kind of, uh, you know, have so much of your younger self in a pub, you know, Googleable. Yeah. It's, it's kind of crazy. So, I don't know, but I think, like, for me, so much of it is just, I don't know, like, looking back at my younger self and kind of, um, I don't know, like, looking at her with new eyes and kind of going, wow, you were so young. Yeah. And, you know, you're so brave to be doing that. And, and you know, now I'm still here doing it. So, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it's an interesting thing to interesting way to start music but yeah. I don't know, strange things have happened. It feels like this time though in between <clears throat> Bless This Mess and Warriors you've had some time to kind of step away out yeah. of the spotlight and really decide what you wanted to do with this yeah. next record. Do you feel like you had the time to kind of build the soundscape you wanted? Yeah definitely. So yeah I yeah I have I did go quiet for a little bit just in my own world just yeah. writing and living and yeah, I, uh, I think it was, yeah, maybe four years ago I was working on a farm for a little bit because I really wanted to learn more about the, um, you know, our natural ecosystem on the planet and how it all works. Yeah, yeah. so fascinating. It was all organic farming, so it's no, you know, no chemicals and just yeah. learning how to basically help what's already happening in the, you know, in the ecosystem. Um, so I kind of, yeah, I definitely just wanted to keep exploring life and, you know, I'm interested in lots of different things. So, yeah, I mean, the all the stuff I've done between, I guess, my last album and now, um, yeah, I guess has definitely influenced the album. I'll ask you one more question, because I feel like, and I'm sorry to mo- use a transport metaphor <laughs> and be corny, <laughs> but when you kind of start with the music thing it does feel like the train starts and then it never stops in terms of you release an album you two are you write you release an album you two are you write but in between that there's no time left there to kind of live did you feel like this time you really needed to take the time to just live a normal day-to-day life and i suppose build up experiences that you could write about yeah definitely yeah yeah i think one of the things with music and I guess a lot of performance 
industries as well. It's just so cyclical. Yeah. yeah, and I think it's really important for anyone to just go away and have their own private experience um, because it is uh, as much as I love sharing my music with people, it, you can't really be in that place all the time. It's too yeah. much for anyone. So I, I think it's really important to have that balance. Thank you so much for the car Thank chats you. and for joining yeah. me in the back seat. No it's a good place to chat about the album. Mm -hmm. Be a little bit corny about riding <laughs> in cars with boys. Good <laughs> luck with it all. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you.